Alan wasn't ever the focus. Alan was the byproduct. He was the bycatch. He was collateral damage. She, she wanted to get rid of that groom. Alan was trying to stop her. She said, you know, this isn't your fight, but if you're going to insist on it, I'm going to, to make sure you get out of my way so I can finish doing what I was doing. And then she stands, she's looking, she's got her ears up. I'm sure she's listening to the other elephants that I'm sure are yelling in the background. Uh, even if you can't hear it on tape, there's no doubt she's listening to the other elephants. And she's trying to decide what she's going to do, and then that guy moves. And it's just a hair that he moves, but it's enough to bring her attention back to him. She didn't have a plan. It's not like, well, I'm going to catch the bus, or I've got a, a waiting car for me that's going to speed me off, and we're going to live on the lamb in Mexico or anything. She was, she just, the, the natural flight response triggered in her. She knew she had to get out. She was, she wanted to, to get away from it all. She wanted to get away from the noise. The huge amounts of adrenaline that were flowing everywhere by that time in the arena. She knew she was in really big trouble. And she knew she would have been chained up. She would have been beaten a lot. And she said, I'm gonna get out of Dodge and took off. She was shot 87 times. She was shot all over her body, in her eyes. And I remember that that, that huge head just leaning against the car. It, it was heartbreaking to see such a majestic creature, such a beautiful, huge, gorgeous elephant lying in the street of Honolulu, lying, just lying on the street of Honolulu with that ridiculous pink party hat on. <laughs> 